Millet was a man who was in love with war. He fought in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Millet started out in the Massachusetts National Guard in 1938 with 101st Field Artillery. In 1940, he joined the Army Air Corps and went to gunnery school. But when Roosevelt came out and said that Americans would not be fighting on foreign soil, Millet was more than a little disappointed. So he deserted in 1941. Millet hitchhiked to Canada and enlisted in the Canadian Army and was promptly sent to the UK, where he served as an anti-aircraft radar operator during the Blitz. Of course, after he got to London, America entered World War II, and Millet turned around and tried to transfer back into the U.S. Army. Millet was assigned to the 27th Armored Field Artillery Regiment, 1st Armored Division, and served in Tunisia as an anti-tank gunner. He earned a silver star for jumping into an ammo-filled half-track that was on fire and driving it away from Allied forces. Later, he was promoted to corporal after he shot down a Messerschmitt using a half-track mounted machine gun. He received the European African Campaign Ribbon with seven campaigns and three amphibious assault landings under his belt. When he was promoted to sergeant, Millet's paperwork caught up to him and the Army court-martialed him for desertion. Then, a few weeks later, he was commissioned as a second lieutenant. <laughs> Go figure. But Millet's best story comes from his time in Korea, the Forgotten War. When the Army called for volunteers in 1949, Millet jumped at the opportunity. Millet served as a captain and commander of Easy Company of 2nd Battalion, 27th Infantry Regiment. In December of 1950, the Chinese and Koreans were fond of saying the Americans were afraid of the bayonet. Millet decided to change their mind, and he was awarded the Medal of Honor for leading the assault. Millet made sure to leave a bayonet in the enemy commander with a message reading, Compliment of Easy Company. Eventually, he had to be officially prohibited from leading any more bayonet charges because he really wanted to drive the point home. Like, share, and comment below. You can listen to more of Millet's story by checking out the We Are the Mighty podcast and take it as a lesson. Never underestimate America's soldiers.